again, but we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to do it like this. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, very clear, yeah. And I've got you super clear as well. Now, where was we? You was telling me about how awful you was at golf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, do you want me to talk? Um, yeah, that's always advisable on a live call. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Playing golf. Um, I bought a set of Callaways from the charity shop. Nice. Yeah, got quite a good little start. <laughs> I always slice mine. I uh, I now play for the draw, so basically I'll aim at ooh, quarter two or ten two the hour, and by the time I've finished, it lands straight in the fairway. But it took me years to work it out. I've never been able to correct my slice, and that's how I play now. Professional draw, I believe it's called, but I know it's a slice. That is amazing. I can't even hit the ball yet. <laughs> oh, you'll... I keep whacking the grass. No, you'll get there. You just have to keep your head up still and just go for little baby strokes. Don't go whacking it as hard as <laughs> you can. First day, you I just know. take it easy. That's the trouble with me. I'm a bit too heavy-handed. <laughs> so you'll be no good at pool either, then? Oh, no. Don't talk to me about pool. I'm oh. terrible. Oh, I figured. I whacked the ball through someone's window once. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Yeah. Not good, I'm yes. Oh, go on. No, after you. Oh, I've got a pool table. It's only a tiny one in my um, music room at home. And, uh, well, I attempt to practice. <laughs> I sort of scare myself because I'm thinking, oh, God, I can't uh, really afford to replace the windows at the moment. <laughs> so you've heard it here live on Falco's Radio. If Natalie's India West is anywhere near you playing golf, pool, or I'm going to throw darts in there as well, make sure you're a mile away. <laughs> Oh, actually, yeah, darts is another, oh, yeah, dear. do not come near me when I'm playing darts. Uh, the last time I played darts was in this local pub, um, only last year, actually, and as I sort of um, put my hand back, to, you know when you do sort of like a run-up? Yeah. Uh, with, you know, to, you put your hand back, ready to throw your dart. Well, I don't know about a run-up, that's, that's javelin, look, that's javelin. <laughs> <laughs> well, the dart shot backwards and it hit someone. Oh. Luckily, it hit him on the head, but the, the blunt end. <laughs> Otherwise, oh gosh, I can't imagine. Yeah, I don't even want to think about it, to be honest. So, uh, okay, I think we'll leave your uh, athletic exploits uh, there. Apparently, and you are, I can vouch for it, a damn sight better musician. Now, you tell me all about your song that you've got come up with recently and where you're at in your music career. Tell me all about yourself. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a funny one, really. As you can um, hear, <laughs> I've got a bit of a sense of humour. Uh, and, um, yeah, I, I add a bit of fun into the songs. Because, um, you know, like, uh, most of the time on the radio these days, you hear, I won't say what artist is trying to offend, but it's sort of like, feel like killing yourself. It's so depressing music, you know. So um, I, I wanted to incorporate some uh, some fun into, into yeah. my songs and cheer people up and make them laugh <laughs> so uh, yeah I, that's I, I sort of come up with the lyrics of this song it's, it's a bit sort of um what's the word what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> um tongue in cheek uh you bubbly fun yeah. you know and um and something people are going to remember and you originally hail from Brighton, don't you? West Sussex, is it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, well, we're not going to hold that against you on this show. That's, we're not all perfect. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, it's just, I'm playing a lot in Brighton this year. All right, go on. Have you, got some, have you got some dates coming up you want to chuck out for free now that you're live? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, actually, that's a good idea. <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I think in March, March, May and um, August, I'm, I'm uh, gigging in Brighton. Oh, August the 4th, I'm in Hastings. And um, I'm doing two gigs with uh, the Rocket Dolls. Um, and uh, the drummer is um, Mark Knox's son, Benji Knopfler. Never heard of him. And they're really Oh, they're really cool, <laughs> and uh, they're an indie band, although I'm not indie, I'm sort of quite the opposite, really, <laughs> glam rock, uh, we do, we fit in, you know, we've all got a great sense of humour, and um, we, you know, it's great to share the stage with some fun bands, and uh, I'm just 
Well, I've replied for loads of festivals, just waiting to hear back. So mention that name again, because now I've said that I've never heard of him. I will actually make sure I actually check out those and follow a few things and see what's going on on Instagram and likes. I'm sure you've got your Instagram and Twitter pages, have you? Would you like to say those while you're live as well? Oh, yeah. Um, my Twitter is at India Official. India spelled I-N-D-Y-A. Yep. And um, my personal Twitter is at rockchip underscore nat. Okay. And on on Instagram, all lowercase, at rockchip nat. So tell me the title of this song I'm going to play for you. You know the one. Called, <laughs> if you don't like it, shove it. <laughs> That's fair enough. I like your style. I'm going to play that now. And I'm going to yeah. talk to you again after the song. So for now, it is... India West, if you don't like it, shove it.